prøve å stoppe meg om du tør Now everybody I've ever talked with agrees that your self-image is important. But what we're going to do now, we're going to look at some very specific steps which you can take to make absolutely certain that your image is good and getting better. That's important because you cannot consistently perform in a manner which is inconsistent with the way you see yourself. So how do you build a good health of self-image? Number one is you take inventory. You take a physical inventory. For example, many insurance companies will insure certain parts of your body. They guarantee if you lose an eye, they'll give you X number of dollars. If you break a leg or lose a leg, they'll give you X number of dollars. But let me ask you a question. How much would you take for an arm, for a leg, for an ear, for an eye, for any part of your body? When you begin to analyze it, I have seen where juries and insurance companies have literally paid millions of dollars for eyes and for legs and for broken backs and all of those things. So when you analyze it physically, you are worth millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. You are important. Mentally, let's take a little inventory about you. You see, if they were to try to duplicate your brain with a computer, Experts have estimated that it would take a building the size of an Empire State Building to house it. That it would literally cost in excess of a hundred million, maybe a billion or ten billion dollars. And even with all of that expenditure, it still could not do what you instantly do on an everyday basis, and that is originate a thought. And what I want to say is when you analyze the you, when you analyze an inventory, physically, mentally, and spiritually, you are somebody. And that ought to make you feel good. Step number two to build that image is you need to make up and dress up and go up. When you dress up, you feel better in test after test after test. They have proved beyond any doubt that students perform better in school. They're more orderly. They're more mannerly. They have proved that salespeople in stores and on call sell better when they are dressed up properly and the ladies are made up and the guys have their appropriate dress on for themselves. They feel better. How many of you have experienced that? So step number two, if you want to improve your image, you make up and you dress up and you go up. And then, of course, you need to listen to speakers. And the truth is, that's exactly what you're doing. Listen to teachers. Listen to preachers. Listen to people who have something to say, who will give you a lift and make you feel better about yourself. Then the next step you can take is remember, you oftentimes need to walk before you can run. A high jumper who can jump six feet is not going to go out on the first day or the first jump he takes and say, set it at six feet, that's as high as I can go. He'll put it a little lower and his confidence builds as he goes up. When we teach our children to become cooks and really do things around the house, we don't move them from oatmeal cookies to baked Alaska, do we? We move them one short step at a time. You don't go from 2 times 2 to 28,961 times 49,368. But you take some steps along the way there, and every step gives you that extra amount of confidence. As a sales manager, occasionally some of our people used to get in a little slump from time to time. We've all seen it happen. And what we would do is encourage them to take the lowest priced product we had, a small item with a low ticket value, and simply go make a few sales there. That got the momentum going, and then we would move them up to the next one, and the first thing you know, they are really doing well. The next step is you need to join the Smile and Compliment Club. Now, I want to emphasize a point. I believe with all my heart, my philosophy has been for a long time, that you can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get 
what they want. And when I talk about the Smile and Compliment Club, I mean simply that if you will look at people and smile, and if you will compliment them on some specific observable behavior, now that is a key there, then they're going to feel better. And you know, the interesting thing is when they feel better, they'll grin all over, and in most cases, they will just thank you profusely. They'll feel better, but you know what? You're going to feel even better than uh, they will. Now, remember a moment ago I said you can have everything in life you want if you'll just have enough other people to get what they want? You need to take that and apply it not as a tactic, but as a philosophy in life. For example, if you will start doing some things for somebody who can do absolutely nothing in return for you. I'm talking about visiting a shut-in. I'm talking about reading a book into the microphone for the blind. I'm talking about taking some food or clothing to someone whom you know is in need, and not just at Christmas and not just at Thanksgiving, but when you do something for somebody else, there's nothing on this earth that makes you feel as good as that does. It really builds that image. Now you need to be careful of whom you associate with if you want your image to really grow. You know, the right people really can give you a lift and make you feel good about yourself. And the wrong people can literally pull you down and make you feel less about yourself. You're influenced by the people you're around. There's no question about that. To build your image, you need to list your positive qualities. Now, I want you to think with me on this one just for a moment. The truth is you have an incredible number of them and they can be developed and extended even further. You see, you can be just as honest as anybody. You can have just as much character as anybody. You can develop just as much positive mental attitude as anybody, just as much enthusiasm. You can be just as dependable, just as sincere, just as helpful. You can be just as studious, work just as hard, be just as reliable, be just as punctual. And when you start listing all of those qualities, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the qualities that will get you a job anywhere, at any time, under any circumstances. You put them all together and you begin to feel good about yourself. To build a good healthy self-image, you need to list your past successes. You see, there is that a one of you, if you really think about it, who hasn't done many, many things about which you ought to feel good about your successes. Maybe you've lost 20 pounds. Maybe you've made friends with an old grouch that nobody could get along with. Maybe you passed a course which was particularly tough. Maybe you made a sale in an area or became number one in an area which was already sold out. How many of you have seen that happen in the world of sales so many times? When you start analyzing all of the things, what you're doing is you are emphasizing the positive. And when you begin to emphasize the positive, that image begins to grow. Self-acceptance is what I'm talking about. Yes, the top professionals in the world of selling uh, really have worked on their self-image. That's so important because you see 73% of all sales interviews end with no attempt to close because the salesperson has that fear of rejection. They don't understand that it really is not a rejection personally. It's simply a business refusal. Now, when your image is solid and you believe in what you're selling, you move confidently towards closing the sale. So I really encourage you to get busy in this area of building a good, healthy self-image. There's one very important thing I'd like you to remember about building a positive self-image. Nobody on the face of this earth can make you feel inferior without your permission. When you refuse to give others that permission, you will start accepting yourself. And once you accept yourself, you will have removed a significant barrier to the growth and success you're capable of attaining. Now, do me and you just one little favor. Stop the tape, then sit back and close your eyes. Just relax for about five minutes and picture yourself already possessing that healthy self-image and all the other things necessary for your success. Remember, it must happen in your mind before it will happen in your life.
pretty exciting, isn't it?